And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zombie Anivia. It's going to be our next deck. We're going to be trying out another version of Zombie Anivia where this one is all in on Anivia. We're going to be playing three Entreats to go along with the three Anivias as well as three Rekindler, three Harrowing. That's what our deck's all about. It's all about finding Anivia, getting it in play, having it die, and then bringing it back. Um... So yeah, let's go going hard with the Zombie Anivia. Another fun donation deck today. That's what the two Ds over here mean. We got four sweet donation decks today. Um, we even got the spicy one with the Voices of the Old Ones, which at first glance, I don't think that this card fits in here. But thinking about it more, the something that's really important to do with Anivia is to be enlightened. And to, to be enlightened, we had to have 10 mana gems. And so Voices of the Old Ones, while you can play it as early as turn five, to ramp and get a couple extra ones even if you have this later at like turn seven or turn eight you can play this and then immediately get to your 10 uh, mana gems to be enlightened for leveled up anivia so i think that's where it really fits of course it can find harrowing or ruination as well it can draw those two cards for you as well but i think for the most part um you know like we're trying to just get to enlightened to have leveled up anivia as fast as possible all right so let's give this one a try um, we're gonna go play five games over in ranked, and we'll see how we do. All right, we got Nocturne deck, but not Diana and Nocturne going Callista and Nocturne. Pretty interesting there. All right, so we're definitely keeping Anivia. I think I'm just gonna mulligan all three of these other spells and you know, just kind of see what else we got in here. I did notice that there's three Vengeance in the list and only one Ruination. And I'm not so sure about that. I, I kind of feel like this should maybe be, you know, like maybe that should just be evened out to be two and two. Alright, well, <laughs> I said that we were all about Anivia. We found all of them. I guess we may need something something else besides just Anivia. Alright, so this turn we can play a Vengeance at least. Anivia for you, Anivia for you, Anivia for you. Lots of fearsome stuff. At least the hapless aristocrat can block the wraith caller now. So at least we have that going for us. I wonder if I should just be casting Withering Whale right now. Maybe I sh actually I should. Yeah, we should, so that we can play, you know, Nivia next turn and have that uh, one damage on all those things. It's potentially a good draw if they play something before combat. They do not. Something ancient. So I'm going to hold on to the avalanche after for like whenever they rebuild. Let's soar. Oh, it's still morning where I am, Cabo. I guess it, yeah, now just, just turn to afternoon, I guess. So you can pass, because I can use Harsh Winds. Winds. 
If I do play Avalanche, I don't have Harsh Winds available anymore because my Agnivia will die. So I'd have to go Avalanche and Vengeance. Alright, we're going down to two, but not dead yet. One candle for every soul. I really like that flash freeze draw, that's a good one. You're just gonna pass. Like while they're passing and not using any mana like that. Eternal we're just gonna uh, go get you know two, three, five Anivias. Now, I still have Harsh Winds and Flash Rees available for other things. No, it doesn't play around Harrowing. I'm not expecting Harrowing. Out of five. No one is safe. All right, so I th the problem with playing ooh okay that that entreats really good because that's another harsh winds. I was gonna say the problem with playing rekindler right here is that then if they have another atrocity they kill me. So I think I have to just go to attacks and hold up, you know, Vengeance and Harsh Winds and stuff like that. Uh, you know, like they have demonstrated having Harsh Winds. So I think I'm just going to keep up Harsh Winds and, and Vengeance, honestly, for now, and just, you know, hit them with these two things. We have I wanted to keep 13 mana so that I have that, so I have Vengeance plus Harsh Winds for 13 mana. And so again, I couldn't play Rekindler and have 13 mana this turn. Well, I guess I could, but I couldn't have that and Harsh Winds. Now I might as well play Rekindler. Yeah, I guess I guess playing Rekindler right now is actually better than playing Vengeance. This blocks two things. Because the the Curse Keeper challenges this Rekindler. Return to us. Be right out. Wow, good thing. Yeah, really good thing I played this instead of having Vengeance available. Yeah, good thing there. I protect this place. Impossible. Awesome. So now we get to just go right to attacks. And it should be able to kill them. There we go, GG's. We are 1-0. Alright, some more fearsome spiders. This one's going lower to the ground. Is this the same opponent or something? Come close. 
I don't bite. I probably do. We could use a bite. Back to 17. Ooh, this avalanche is looking good. Looking like a good avalanche. We're really good at drawing, you know, three of the same card, right? Last time it was three Anivias. This time we got three Entreats, <laughs> which are all just more Anivias. Drawing and treats just worse than drawing an Ivia, because it's oh, great. Yeah, I just have it's <laughs> just all Anivias over here, because it's like it's worse than just drawing an Ivia, because it's an Ivia that I have to pay two mana for, and whenever we're playing against an aggro deck, uh, having to pay two extra mana to get the, to draw your card, it's not something you necessarily want. Really want it all. Really, voice of the old ones gonna add you last turn. I was hope you know obviously I was hoping I was gonna be able to ruination this turn. I I couldn't play a Nivia and have ruination this turn, but I could have had a Nivia and then have harsh winds. I could have had that. We had one avalanche. That one avalanche was very good. Besides that, triple entreat. Doesn't get much worse than that. So 11 mana next turn. Seems like Harsh Winds plus 5. Love to draw a withering whale. A withering whale and harsh winds. They'll never see it coming. Nope. Oh, what's that noise? We're playing with fire, being at two against the Noxus deck. Flame of fire. Okay, good draw. So I could so Withering Whale means I have seven mana left, so I could go rekindler and have Withering Whale still. Let's do that. We burn, then kindle anew. For the Empire. Perfect. Okay, back to five. Looking a little bit better. Harvey, stop. Yeah, we've lost a fervor for a while, but yeah, you know, I didn't think that they have fervor. Oh, they did draw Doom Beast. That's scary. All right, do they find the burn? Going to need burn. Okay. This isn't going to do it for them. They knew about that Anivia from the Entreat. Such naivete. They 
I can still draw fervor. Well, I guess I have uh, vengeance that stops fervor. I don't know. Maybe, oh, I guess I should keep flash freeze in case that's atrocity. If they don't break, they'll burn. So close. For the glory of Put me down to one. That withering whale draw was so clutch that we had. Just in case. Just in case. I'm not gonna let them noxion fervor themselves. I must get out of here. Okay. Wow, super close. We just got there. And we're 2 0. Yeah, the Entreats were actually useful. The cycle you know, getting that complete. Harsh Winds. Harsh Winds has been good. The Nivea Champion spell. Alright, we got uh, Vi Lux. Play some more Lux with PNZ. Haven't done that in a while. I'm gonna keep this Voices of the Old Ones. This seems like a good Voices of the Old Ones matchup. Probably play this on turn five. Get a double ramp in there. Where are you? These old eyes still see far and clear. I must get out of here. Seventeen. It looked just be an aggro deck. We are aggroing pretty hard. No, not the tough one. Nothing escapes my watch. <laughs> Didn't attack with it. I guess they don't want me to draw cards with Avaros and Sentry. Man, we are good at drawing Anivias. <laughs> Both of these games. We are good at drawing Anivia. Double ramp. Yeah, thankfully it, it doesn't show that the Entreated Anivia is Anivia, but they just know, like, if they could keep track of it, they'd know, like, which spot is a champion. If they would want to keep track. Maybe it's better just a Vengeance. Take down this 5-5 five five that's about to be beating me down. But they also have, like, Vi and Lux that are, like, cards that I'd much rather Vengeance. This five's definitely going to be beating me down. So double ramp. Next turn we have eight mana. Yeah, I wish I could just Aristocrat right now also. I think I'm just taking... I think I want to just double ramp. Oh, my gosh. Double ramp draw two. How about that? The old double ramp draw two. We only have four cards in the entire deck that it can draw, which is another reason why I think that the third Vengeance should be a Ruination. Ooh, what's that noise? One girl wrecking crew. Here in your All right, that's the Anivia they know about. Now, of course, I just want these Anivias to die because of Harrowing. I don't want to attack, though, and then let them kill the O1 on the way back. I'll let them, you know, like, challenge the 01, or challenge this, make an 01. And if they use a spell to kill the 01, oh well. I have Harrowings. But we can you know, do some blocking. Right out. Hot shit. Trouble coming at ya. You have no alibi. So I want to play Vengeance this turn. Do I ven just Vengeance this Vanguard Cavalry? Oh, uh, I didn't think about Unyielding Spirit. Unyielding Spirit is really, really annoying, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't really think about Unyielding Spirit. That could be... Uh, that could be a lot of... Yeah, that could be a lot of problems there. These old eyes still see far and clear. 
Could have gone Black Spear on the Vi and then had Vengeance afterwards. Doing kill my Anivia. It's not cool. Eternal winter. So one Anivia down so far. I guess. Eternal winter. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I should have done the the. Uh, Black Spear, try to bait out un Unyielding, then have Vengeance. I guess I'm just gonna let them Unyielding if they have Unyielding. Hopefully they don't have it. Darn. <laughs> For my homeland. What are you hiding? Well, that's gonna make life difficult. But we can probably race that. It's gonna be our goal is racing uh, the unyielding spirit. You know, like if they once they level up by, then they're doing five damage and attack. But I can you know kill my own things that they're blocking. Can't hide from me. And we have harsh winds also. So I think we're gonna be doing just fine. One candle for every sun. Okay, that was the egghead researcher card. I don't need a plan. So I think we can just cast harsh winds right here. And then just have them you know take them a turn of Vi not leveling up. Oh, I don't know. I do want Anivia to die though. So you think that they would have another removal spell with this three mana to kill the egg? Stand in, you can't outrun justice. Ready the torches. So maybe I just let that happen. No, I, it's not better to defend with the Navy because I want I want Avaros and Sentry and this thing. Spiderling. I want them off of the board for you know, like harrowing. I I need I want them I want them gone. So my two options so I could black spear this white flame protector and kill it. Otherwise I could also I could also do it on the spiderling, and I'm I'm definitely considering just going black spear on the spiderling. So let's see, right now we've had, because yeah, we've had two Anivias die and we had Rekindler die. Rekindler puts back an Anivia, so I need four spots. So yeah, I need to kill this thing. All right, Harrowing. Let's see what we get. I do have to watch out for like, like they could have a judgment kill that kills me. If they have Vi, so if Vi is attacking and they play judgment and it just strikes down a bunch of things, each one of those would do five damage to my Nexus. So I have to worry about that. Defending, I don't have to worry about it. Um, you know, Vi is defending, but attacking. So we're, we're probably gonna be having like harsh winds on Vi and then like entreat for another harsh winds. And, you know, use that a couple of times to slow down Vi to keep Vi from dealing damage to me while attacking. And then just use this then on offense. So that's going to be our defensive turns. And our offensive turns are going to be harrowing, harrowing, and getting more Anivias. Our wickedness breaches the horizon. So since they killed that other, you know, that other Anivia, now we get this Avaros and Sentry, which is... Still better than Spiderling. I don't know if like Lux can save them. Right now I should definitely have this of just like this kind of stuff. So I, I don't know if Lux could save them though. Maybe. Like that's not saving them. But of course they would want to play Lux after combat, obviously. With all these glacial storms. No, I, I would do the same thing with the Black Spear. I would rather get like that Black Spear clear, you know, kill that Spiderling. And now I have this Avaros and Sentry in here instead so I get to draw another card. I don't I don't want that spiderling. I think that black spear was a good play. I think the turn before I black speared I didn't attack. 
with the Spiderling, and that was I should have just thrown the Spiderling out there and seen if they would have killed it. Yeah, I don't I don't care that they have one extra blocker here. Don't I don't care about that at all. We're not killing them this turn anyway, and and we are killing them the next turn. So the one bl the blocker doesn't matter. They would, they would be able to stay alive if they wanted to do this combat. Yeah, Anivia's animation is kind of slow. Having a bunch of Anivia's, um, that is kind of a slow animation because, yeah, four of those can take, like, each one takes, like, five seconds. So, like, four of those can take, like, 20 seconds, which, um, oh, I'm sorry, opponent. Which, yeah, that is pretty slow. To reflect. I guess I should have cast Entreat last turn. I would have had one less mana. I would have had 12. So I would not have Vengeance and Harsh Winds. But I would have had double Harsh Winds. Theoretically, if I did not have Harsh Winds, they could win this if they had, like, two of Concerted Strike, Judgment, and Single Combat. No, I guess not Judgment. So it had to be Single Combat and Concerted Strike. Because if they attack like this, and then they go Single Combat, Strike one of these things and then like concerted strike, strike another, or another single combat, strike another. If they did that, then that'd be three strikes while attacking. And that would do 15 damage to me. But all we gotta do is frostbite. Hmm. They had one mana sharp sight. <laughs> Dang, that's pretty sweet. All right, well, I guess I gotta gain life. And yeah, that's why I should have been treated at last turn. All right, so I'm at three. But of course, in treating last turn, I would have had Vengeance available, but I guess I should have. I... Hmm. Okay, they conceded. So basically, what I'd have to worry about is, like, get excited. Right? Like, if I go right to attacks, they could have get excited and kill me. So I think I'd have to play the the, the Kindly Tavern Keeper before attackers. I haven't, I haven't written down any games of the week for this week. All three of those are super close. Anivia's champion spell was super clutch in all of those. I mean, this is, you know, great for our top end. I'm glad we mulliganed the Rekindler. We just drew another one. I'm surprised it wasn't, like, two entreats and an Anivia. <laughs> or the other cards. Yeah, Voices of the Old Ones. That was that was a good card there. Ramped us into being enlightened faster and you know helped us win that race. Good call. Alright, we in aggro deck again. Else? I was like, did our opponent disappear? Where are you? Yeah, I probably underrate that card too. I I haven't really been too impressed with Voices of the Old Ones just in general. But that game, it looked really good. Because it not only ramped us the two to get to the Enlightened faster, but it also drew two Harrowings. That was like the best possible voices of the old ones. Nothing escapes my watch. I don't think it will look that good again. Alright, no Draven. And no Ezreal. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. So I'm probably just playing Vengeance on the Ezreal next turn. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. And then turn five, banking mana again. Firing. Yeah, 
Yeah, playing against Draven Ezreal. That deck's pretty cool. Okay, so things have changed. Sweet. Aha, they walked into my trap. They walked into my trap. I probably should attack and just try to trade and get this out of here. But I guess I guess this can block a Draven. Sure, or a chump one. And drew another harrowing. So what's my plan for next turn? Is it Anivia attack? Is it avalanche? So we're down to 10. I'll have eight mana. By avalanche, I save three. By Anivia attack, I save two. I guess it's an heavy attack. We can do avalanche on their turn. It's Draven time. For my homeland. All right, they found Draven. Excuse you. I was hoping they wouldn't. Endless cold, endless peace. Ow! A little surprised they played Draven before combat. It didn't just pass. I guess they were scared if. If they passed, I passed. With them already having a wide board, I don't really want to pass at that point. Don't blink, or you miss me. Do you need to protect my life total? I'm at ten. Let's do this. So I'm gonna do this to protect my life total. Need three more targets to level up as real. Mm. I'll just pass. I'll just save this mana. Because that's just a 3 2 Draven. I have six mana left if I play Rekindler, but if I go Entreat Anivia, I have five mana left. But then, I'd, but then Rekindler would also give me a new Anivia. Main question, do we want do we want harsh winds for this matchup? Maybe I need harsh winds. Okay, yeah, okay. Then need harsh winds. Oh uh, You're saying they're gonna play Captain Farron? Oh no, I hope not. Oh man, I hope not. Yeah, Captain Farron. That card's really scary. No. Yeah, that card's really scary. Let's soar. The end. All right, so we'll have Black Spear be able to kill Captain Baron. Glad they're using that on my Anivia and not on my life total. This is our time. Ooh, that's a great draw. I have Anivia plus Kindly Tavern Keeper. I don't want to see another Ezreal, but I guess they don't have the mana for the Mystic Shot now. The spirit of winter awakens. So I've had two Anivias die. If I go Harrowing, I don't. Hmm. Can't, I can't go Harrowing and Withering Whale. Like right? Like, that's not possible. I 
to attack. I just want to get a card out of their hand, I guess. Okay. So here we'll put in two Anivias and an Averrosen Sentry. But then I'd only have three mana left. Now, casting... Casting Double Decimate would put them down to one. Um, they could have... Let's see, if they play one Decimate, then they have five extra mana. So then they could have Decimate and then get excited and Mystic Shot. So they could have that and kill me. Um... Because I want to go Harrowing on this turn and then have, like, Grasp and Withering Whale on their turn. Okay, so the... Uh, I am I am going to die to one, one possible thing, and that would be if they have, out of those four cards, if two of them are Mystic Shot and get excited. Okay, that's not, that's not the case. We're 4-0. Okay, let's try this one out. This will be interesting to see how we do. Um, we'll look at those two. These two are probably going to just be some good bodies just to get out there and do some blocking and stuff. One thought would be wait until they play a bunch, you know, the, until they go wide and then avalanche and then play this other stuff. I pull the strings. Go this route though. I'll play that avalanche way down the line. So they got the 2-4, which is the very best thing to hit with Petty Officer. I'll take that. Playing the playing the Kindly Tavern Keeper to be able to block this Elise. I'm gonna save the other sentry. I'm just gonna play the one. Keep up, keep up. Get one more in here before like, these potential avalanches. Fight the signal fires. What do I think about Swain Teemo? I think that's a really fun deck to play. I think it's a, you know, it's a deck that's real similar to um, the uh, real similar to the the um, the two decks that we're playing today with the Katarina Teemo, the Ezreal Swain. It's kind of nice, nice little buff between them. But yeah, I really like uh, Swain Teemo. I, I love playing Puff Cat Peddler decks, love playing Teemo decks. I can take an extra point of damage and block the 2-3. Which would be better for Avalanche. But I don't know, it'd also make Avalanche a lot more um, obvious. Be nothing left when I'm done. Uh, I think they sacrificed the wrong one. Unless they're worried about like a one damage spell. Nothing escapes my watch. That's their third go hard. They have done a very good job of drawing go hards. Come closer. I don't bite. 
Probably do. From your flock, little bird. A bird of prey hunts alone. Lots of vengeance over here. You won't suffer long. I protect this place. Think about casting vengeance on the Elise. I don't know. I don't really want to take three damage. I don't have any Nexus healing or anything. They have, you know, like they have one mana deal five with pack your bags. Like that one mana deal six. Like that one mana deal five. I will be reborn. I don't have good emotes for, for like what my opponent's emoting. I don't have good ones. I need like sad poro and oh, I guess I guess like I had cheers. I should be doing like that that's a good one. That one would have worked. Okay, Flash Freeze or Vengeance. One, two, three, four, five. Probably gonna wanna save Flash Freeze. Yeah, let's just, I just wanna use my mana this turn. And so we're gonna just cast Vengeance. Ruination. Oh, it may not be as good as they think it is. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna bring back some of our Nivias. Kylie Tavern Keeper? How did that come in before Anivia? What's going on there? I, bring the storm. I know their emo game is great. I'm jealous of their emo game. Me a I wanna go home. Strange glow. They can still use go hard and burn me out. Oh, but they blocked. Oh, but they they blocked this and then didn't kill it. So the go hard doesn't. The go hard won't uh, be good against that Anivia. I'm just gonna bank the mana. Yeah, let's just bank mana. Okay, so then this one's gonna be the Agnivia during this their turn. Nope, never mind. That's not how that works. Cool. Glad we banked keep mana. Up, up. That last card's probably the go hard, right? Pack your bags. Yep. They finally found it. So I'm going to cast this grass and die right now. Or just wait. Just wait.
Maybe we should have played Avalanche after they played the Sprayfin. Want to give them the opportunity to cast uh, Glimpse Beyond, if they would have just drawn Glimpse Beyond. Alright, so double Flash Freeze, and we go down to three. Or if I go Grasp, trades with both of those, Flash Freeze, we still go down to three. So we go down to three either way, so it's better to play the Harsh Wind so that we can save the Grasp for next turn. Now we're going to be able to put the two Anivia abilities on the stack to kill them. And we're going down to two because of Legion Grenadier. So they need... Um, okay, I was going to say they need like Bile Feast. They need something that drains at fast speed. They didn't have it. Anivias get the job done again. Man, five fast... Uh, games. Oh, sorry. You said the fast spell. Sorry. Five close games. You said, yeah, imagine if Go Hard was a fast spell. Yeah, Go Hard being fast and just have pack your bags during combat. That would be <laughs> pretty silly. Um, but yeah, five very close games. And we were victorious in all of them. Zombie and Nivea. First 5-0 in a while over there in Masters rank. And Voices of the Old Ones did good. Uh, you know, we played it two times and both times it was pretty good. Uh, we were always almost dying, but never quite died. <laughs> it was uh, it was pretty crazy. Um, Harsh Winds from Anivia. Anivia's champion spell of Harsh Winds was so clutch. We needed that all the time. Um, yeah, that card was really important. And being six mana and being able to pair that with, you know, Harsh Winds with Vengeance or Harsh Winds with Withering Will or Grasp, stuff like that was very important. Uh, the Kindly Tavern Keepers were awesome. The Avalanches were awesome. Um, the, the top deck Withering Whale saved us the one game. Um, even Blackspear did pretty good and did some work. I was, I was kind of wondering how this card, if it would be better than having something like Unspeakable Horror or Vile Feast, but even the Blackspear did it good. So, yeah, Nivea really did it. So, yeah, I guess Zombie and Nivea still, still pretty good. I mean, it's, we went 5-0 a draw here or there maybe we would have gone 0-5 you know like those games were so close but that's what's great about legends of runeterra is the games are always so close so like there's some times that we'll play a deck and we'll go like one and four and afterwards i'll be like man that deck felt really good <laughs> you know um but just the games are so close but they they went our way and that was pretty awesome anivia closed out the game super fast i was i was impressed with anivia's closing speed uh, especially with harrowing and you know getting three anivias in play really close the game quickly. Uh, but there we go. That's Zombie Anivia. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Always love seeing those. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.